faith, family, community, and culture. This is what we need to be focusing on right now. Now I will tell you something, for 30 years I was an executive bodyguard, protecting people, extracting kids from sex trafficking, and also helping single moms and their children going through domestic violence situations. And I have nearly, because of my work, I have been shot at a lot. I have nearly lost my life 28 times. But I will tell you this, I always say it about to our Lord, it is a pleasure to lose my life for you. Because once I wake up, all I want to hear is well done, good and faithful service. Y'all don't hear me right now. Now, now let me continue, because the work that I do right now, I work with young kids who are going through darkness, who are going through the brokenness, who are going through broken homes and gangs, and I'm in the alternative schools. And I talk to these kids that do in-home interventions, prison uh, interventions, and I bring the community together because it was the community. 30 years ago in 1992 when I was 18, I was homeless, sleeping on the streets, literally beat up, robbed, and urinated on. In 1985 when I was 11 years old, I was actually sexually assaulted. Let me just say it, I was raped as a child, broken by evil. But the thing that built me up when I'm talking to these kids in their houses and their moms and their dads going through all this brokenness, if God can pick me up, he can pick you up, now get up.